During his visit to the Southeast Wednesday, President Biden surveyed some of the worst hit parts of Western North Carolina. Hurricane Helene has been a storm literally of historic proportions. In the aftermath, survivors continue to cope with limited electricity, food, and water. We spoke to Adam Norton, who is bottling river water to use at home. You gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, use this to flush your toilet, drink the bottle of water. Business owners in the area have also been blindsided by the scale of the disaster. It's just, it's just catastrophic. Brian and Angela King are the owners of the now heavily damaged 12 bone smokehouse in the once vibrant River Arts District of Asheville. I can't overstate how much worse this is than anything that's ever ever happened. So far, nearly 90 people have been confirmed dead statewide, with many still unaccounted for. Jessica Meidinger's mother, Kim Ashby, is still missing after her home in Elk Park crumbled into a nearby river during the storm. She and her husband Rod used debris to float down the river until they got knocked off. They hit some sort of patch of trees or debris or something, and that's when they actually they collided and they separated at that point and fell into the river. And that was the last that he saw of her. Rod was able to escape. Brownie Newman, chairman of the Buncombe County Board of Commissioners, says the region has been shaken by so much loss. What's that process been like in terms of working with search and rescue crews? Yeah, very painful. You know, it's just like um, uh, we have. You know, we have these uh, first responders who are working so hard and, you know, and they all live here too. President Biden has deployed up to 1,000 active duty troops to help reinforce North Carolina's National Guard. He also added that dozens of those Starlink satellite systems have been deployed as well to help with communications around the area affected by Helene. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Asheville, North Carolina.